just had a lovely breakfast here at the gallery, which is a restaurant that is next door to my hostel. They have quite a few different vegan options, which is really cool because you don't always find them everywhere. There isn't too many people around at my hostel right now, and I don't really want to sit around all day waiting for someone to turn up just so I have a friend to go on a motorbike tour with. So that's it. I'm going to have another day on my own. It would be nice to have a photography friend, but I do have a selfie stick, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So after making doubly sure yesterday when I rented the bike that everything worked, so often you rent a bike and nothing works. I did check the headlight definitely because I could see it, but actually when it came to riding post sunset, it wasn't bright enough to see anything. So I ended up actually holding my phone's torch to be able to get home. It was really, really dangerous and I don't fancy doing it again, especially since everyone who's been to Nusa Penida tells me how awful the roads are here. So if I'm driving far away into awful roads in darkness, it's not going to happen. So I've really got to make some tracks today. First stop is Kalinking Beach where I can see the famous viewpoint of Nusa Penida. Got the GoPro on the helmet today so we can show you just how awful these roads are. I have arrived here at Kellen King Beach. I have to say I'm actually really excited. The ride over was not nearly as bad as people made it out to be. I don't know, like, it was underdeveloped and there was a lot of potholes and rocks and stuff, but I've had a lot worse roads in Laos and the route that I did around Karan in uh, Palawan, Philippines was awful. So that was actually a, a walk in the park. Maybe this makes me an experienced rider now. I don't know. Definitely kind of wishing that I'd have come here with someone because although these photos are very beautiful, a lot of them are kind of two-man shots. You need someone to take them and they're not going to be very easy without a tripod. At least my eyes get to soak up this beautiful scenery. Out of all the beautiful views I've seen, this one has got me the most stunned right now. I don't even know how you can comprehend this. The water down there is this crazy colour. It's a mix of like a million different beautiful sapphire blues. Managed to ask a couple of people to take some photos of me, but whether or not they're good is another thing altogether. We shall see. They're just doing this to tease me now, hovering right in front of my face. So unfair. You can actually climb all the way down to the beach, but that is a very, very long way, and you'd have to come all the way back up. And I have many stops on my list today. There's also a big sign saying don't go down to the beach road because the fence is broken and if you get stuck or injure yourself, you're fucked basically. Um, so I'm not going all the way down, I'm just going to go a little bit down, see if I can get a slightly more intimate photo because it's kind of busy up there. Some of the sketchier fence posts I've been on for sure. Really don't want to fall and die here, but if I do, at least I'll be doing somewhere fucking beautiful. Well, as much as I would love to hang around all day, I just don't think I can because I have too many other beautiful locations to visit today. So, it's time I move on. Just arrived down here at Angel's Billabong on the edge of this fantastic cliff. And I have to tell you something. I'm now four months into traveling and still, almost daily, I get these moments where I just cannot believe this is my life. About seven months ago, around June, July time, I was so miserable that, uh, you know, I couldn't see what future for myself was going to be a happy one. I, I didn't want to do the career that I was doing, I didn't want to live where I was living, I had no kind of goal or direction or ambition I just knew that I wasn't happy doing what I was doing and it was a courageous decision I think to quit everything that I knew sell all my furniture pack up my flat quit the graduate job that I'd worked so hard to get um, and spent so many years training for to just abandon any kind of career and any kind of future and just pursue happiness rather than you know, paperwork and numbers and mortgages and promotions and whatever it might be. It's days like today when the sky is so blue and the water is so clear and everything is just stunning. 
the sun is shining and it's 30 degrees and I'm not stuck in English weather and English climate dealing with horrible winter and a job that I didn't enjoy that I'm so grateful I made this decision. Travel is the best thing that ever happened to me in my whole life and I really couldn't ask for anything more than for what I'm getting right here, right now. If you're scared to travel alone, don't be. You'll be fine. If you're worried about where you're gonna go or where you're gonna stay or what you're gonna do or how you're gonna cope, you'll be fine. If you're worried about the money, do the Australian working holiday visa, you'll be fine. If you're just not happy doing what you're doing right now, make a change because life is too damn short to spend any time unhappy and I already regret wasting the time that I did when I could have been doing this for longer, you know? But regret is a wasted emotion. I'm here now and I'm very glad to not be doing what I was doing before. Look at that, crazy. Just a short five, 10 minute walk up from Angel's Billabong. We have this spot here called Broken Beach. Not a swimming destination because it looks kind of dangerous. A quick pit stop for some Pringles, a coconut and some shade. I am sweating like a pig and I definitely need to get some rest from the sun and I'm kind of hungry. It is actually lunchtime, but I'm gonna go somewhere a little bit more built up, maybe on the way to my next destination. All right, been driving for like maybe an hour without the map on. Just wanted to see where I'd end up, see if I could get lost, find something fancy. But it's mostly just the same stuff. So I've taken myself to a little room where I'm gonna get some lunch and then figure out my next spot. For today's lunch, I'm having traditional Indonesian food, which is mie goreng. Noodles with an egg and vegetables. Usually it's served with chicken, but um, not for me. And the other one is nasi goreng. You can find mi goreng and nasi goreng in pretty much every warung and it's always going to be the cheapest meal, but it's super tasty and I really, really enjoy it every single time. Been really, 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 really lucky with the weather the past couple of days, but this big grey cloud that's been looming over for the past couple of hours has just threatened to start raining. Um, so I'm just putting on my raincoat just in case. And then we will carry on over to Atta Beach, which is my next destination. Okay, I have driven like an hour and a half right onto the other side of the island. I'm down by the southeast now to my final destination for the day. Atu Atta Beach. I don't know what it's called, I can't pronounce it. It was kind of a bit of a ball ache to find because Google Maps was taking me in all kinds of weird and wonderful directions whilst also losing signal here and there, so it wasn't quite on point with its navigation. <laughs> and also the direction that Google Maps wanted to take me was different to road signs, so I followed a combination of both, um, but eventually I did get here. Whoa, it's kinda steep downhill, did nearly die. But after all of today's driving, my bum is well and truly numb. I mean, I'm still gonna have to drive back to my hostel later, which will be about another hour. But it has been a fantastic day so far. But this will definitely be my last location for that reason, because I am knackered now. I don't know if you can tell, but I've got a nice brown color with a tint of red. Definitely probably should have put sunscreen on. I'm gonna chill here for a bit and enjoy the nice view, maybe get myself a nice coconut or something. I'm covered in a thick layer of grime from all the riding around, especially in the dustier areas. It's really, really gross. I cannot wait to have a shower later. And I'm super, super itchy right now because I've had bites from all kinds of weird and wonderful creatures and I think some stings from some plants too. It's really been an adventurous day for me. All right, guys, it's been a fab day out. I've really enjoyed seeing some of the most beautiful sights that Nusa Panida has to offer, but it is time for me to start the long journey back to my hostel. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and share, subscribe, whatever you wanna do, everything is fine with me. I will see you again soon. Goodbye.